COVID reinfections. There's a lot of what a lot of people what are talking about, but what exactly is the chance if you already got infected by COVID once? Uh, the chance that you get another time. That's not well studied. So that's why today I'm going to present you a Lancet, uh, a paper they published on published on Lancet. They did a very extensive study on Denmark's data to see how much efficacy is like uh, COVID's natural immunity will give you. The natural immunity is, I mean, if you in, like infected once, then you got the immunity from natural infections. How how much if efficacy will it gives to you? All right. Um, so this study it's done. Uh, they the researchers they leverage Denmark's free of charge PCR testing. Basically, in Denmark, you can do PCR very easily and it's free. And there were four million individuals they been tested at least once. It's around 69% of its population. And those four million individuals they actually underwent over 10 million tests. So that's like one person on average is like a 2.5 times. That's a kind of amazing. I, I never seen such data before. And uh, this data shows that if you infected by COVID one, the people if a person infected by the COVID one time, and after six months, its efficacy against reinfection is a, about eighty per eighty percent. So it's kind of uh, even higher than the AstraZeneca vaccine. AstraZeneca is like around sixty five percent, and this. 65 to 70 percent and this one uh, provides you 80 percent natural infection but it's not as good as uh, Pfizer and the Moderna uh, which provide you around 95 percent so I would say uh, the the vaccinations uh, immunity is still much better on, on average and we also don't know how long this uh, natural immunity can last um, for for the vaccine one, we also don't know yet because we don't have like long enough time to observe. So it's definitely ongoing research. People want will will tr trace uh, the the progress of this uh, Denmark's data. But this data is real good. And one thing that really really concerns me is its efficacy is actually reduced really fast if uh, as the age increase. So the efficacy of uh, COVID natural immunity uh, for older elderly people, for the people whose age 65 years or older is only 47% compared to on average is 80%. So now it reduced to 47%. So it's like uh, edge seems like it's like a significant factors they affect uh, immunity building uh, for COVID-19. So that's the uh, research that I want to share with you. And um, it's kind of a, gives us a very good, under, better, under, much better understanding of uh, COVID infect, reinfection. And uh, so if you, the, for the elderly people, they definitely uh, will get maybe more protection from vaccination. Uh, so th I am not really sure like vaccinations uh, protection rate for Older people, but I believe it's much higher than 47% efficacy. So that's the news I want to share with you today. Uh, and I will also put a link to this Lensam paper on the description down below. And if you would like to receive more COVID-19 uh, kind of information, research, reviews, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I make a quite a few of uh, these kind of videos previously and I will continue making in the future. If you want to watch the previous videos, here's the playlist. This video belongs to this playlist. I think you can find out on YouTube. You can just easily watch my previous content. All right, so that's all for today. If you would like to receive more, don't forget to subscribe.